You're listening to Bottles Powerhouse. Hey everybody, welcome to today's podcast. This is Pato the Ghost Rider. Thanking you for tuning in. Pato's powerhouse in full effect and you know, this couldn't happen without you. So to all three of you, I'm just kidding. To everyone that's listening at this time, I just want you to know that I am very grateful you're here checking up on me. Uh, so uh, let's see, uh, what are we going to talk about today? Well, first of all, uh, obviously I've been working doing the things that I usually do. But enough about me. How are you doing? Well, you know what? I'm interested in knowing how you're doing, so uh, you know what? Uh, shoot me a text uh, or an email. You can email me at uh, pdghostwriter at gmail.com or we'll let the following. You can send me a text message at Pato's Powerhouse text line 602-529-7273 Now, let me repeat that, please. Pato's Powerhouse text line 602 602- Five two nine seven two seven three. All right, now that uh, we got that out of the way and you know how to get a hold of me, you know, you can text me, let me know how you're doing. I believe you can even leave me a voicemail. So um, I'd love to hear from you and let me know if you're listening to the show, if you like the show, if you don't like the show, you know, just let me know. And if, you know, If I am achieving my goal of taking you away from your troubles and woes, at least for a few minutes, you know. Okay, uh, well, uh, let's see. Uh, I'm kind of excited. I mean, there's this new movie coming in. Well, it's not going to be out till 2020, but uh, it's kind of a spinoff from, um, it's a DC movie, a spinoff from uh, The Suicide Squad, I guess, or... um, it's got Mar- Margot, Margot, I don't know. Jeez, I'm horrible with names lately. Margot Robbie, you know, the Harley Quinn girl. You know, it's her. Hel- Helena Helena Bertinelli as the Huntress. Dina Lance as Black Canary, which, uh, by the way, uh, that, that's a step in the right direction. And uh, Rosie Perez as Renee Montoya. Now, if you don't follow... DC comic books or you know anything DC anything Batman related chances are that these names don't mean anything to you you know Harley Quinn maybe Harley Quinn because she's been all over the place thanks to the Suicide Squad but Huntress Black Canary and Renee Montoya Renee Montoya is usually a cop from Gotham PD and uh, Rosie Perez will be playing uh, Renee Montoya Black Canary uh, well uh, we've seen a version of the Black Canary in uh, Arrow uh, the CW show, but uh, I guess this is totally different, and uh, something that I feel is very important, I mean, because, you know, as uh, we grow as a nation, we understand that uh, superheroes can be of any color, of any race, of any background. Uh, the Black Canary is actually a black woman this time, Dina Lands. so hey, I'm looking forward to that. And uh, Helena Bertinelli as the Huntress. Yeah. And Margaret Robbie, Margot, I can't say her name for the life of me right now. I don't know why I can't. I, I'm i tired. I'm sneaking away on a little break to do this, to talk to you for the next 10, 15 minutes, you know, like I usually used to do. And it's funny because I'm doing it right around 3 a.m., like, like I used to do. I mean, it's not the same place. There's no break room with a coffee maker here, but... Anyway, um, the thing about what obviously 
made the headlines this past few days is that uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, a.k.a. Ian McGregor, has been casted as a black mask. Now, uh, again, this is another one of those villains that not as popular as the Joker or the Penguin or the Riddler, but it's usually... Uh, you know, but the, the, the thing about this villain is that it's like uh, a reverse, you know how the Flash has to reverse Slash. Well, uh, this is like a reverse Bruce Wayne. I mean, un, you know, unlike Bruce Wayne, whose devotion to his parents uh, made him put on the cape and cowl and fight crime. Uh, this uh, character killed his parents and, uh, you know, took over their fortune, you know, both millionaires and uh, this should be an interesting movie, you know, uh, they're going for a R rating, so uh, I don't know, I'm kind of looking forward to that, you know, anything that will take my mind off all this stress that we've been going through, you know, um, and you know, uh, speaking of stress, I'm going to do something that I usually try to stay away, but uh, you know, this little section, which I'm going to say, ask you what do you think? And uh, I'll play the text line number again and give you the email. But I mean, seriously, what do you think? Moving on from the cool stuff into something not so cool, but I gotta ask. We're so close to election day. Today is November 3rd, I believe. I don't know, I've lost track of time, but I think it's like November 3rd. crazy huh you, you you're probably like what the hell is pot smoking it's not that it's just that i spend i work every day so to me it's like every day is just another day and uh, time flies by so quick it flies by so quick so um let me ask you what do you think um those uh, caravans from central america i mean i find that ridiculously odd that a whole bunch of people down there would organize in a caravan to come down here. I mean, right around this time. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and especially the way they're doing it. It's almost like if someone, wink wink, organized them. You know, someone who would benefit from, um, I don't know, the publicity that these caravans are causing. I mean, the timing, so close to an election, right? And I mean, we all know that um, to get certain people to vote, all you have to do is talk about immigration issues. Uh, the brown people are coming and boom, they're running to the voting polls right the rants on twitter and on the news that uh well the occupant of the oval office i mean without this caravans i mean he would have nothing he tried to deploy military over there just the, then attacking the 14th amendment i mean the timing of this all is what i'm talking about right now right before election how funny is this? I mean, seriously, as a people, I feel that we need to evolve from this theatrical politics schemes, you know, where we got into something more efficient, you know, because quite honestly, this is ridiculous. To me, I mean, I, I, I see it for what it is. Rants. You know little triggers to instigate his core base, you know, what got him elected, you know? Okay, well, that's just what I think. I mean, I don't know. What do you think? I'd like to know. The, you know how you can do it. You can send me an email, PD Ghostwriter, and it has P-D-G-H-O-S-T-W-R-I-T-E-R at gmail.com or... Pato's Powerhouse, text line 
0-2-5-2-9-7-2-7-3. There you have it, the Pato's Powerhouse, the Powerhouse text line. So, um, yeah, I mean, do you think that it was rigged? I mean, you know, all these people, thousands of people, thousands of immigrants decide to caravan down to the United States seeking refugee status. And among those many thousands of brown people, there is thugs, there is gangsters, there is criminals. I'm just saying. But you see what I'm saying? Ah, just the, the timing. I mean, why now? Why so close to November? Why so close to election day? That that's that's all I'm saying. I mean, if I'm saying anything. But um, yeah, that's uh, one of the things I wanted to share with you today. You know, short podcast and okay, I got that out of the way. I talked about the Birds of Prey movie, which, uh, like I said. God, why can't I say her name right now, right? Harley Quinn, Quinn, Harley Quinn, you know, Margaret Robbie, Helena Bertinelli as the Huntress, Tina Lance as Black Canary, Rosie Perez as Renee Montoya. Let me go back to that because that makes me happy, you know, talking politics and talking stuff that deals with politics. Usually they say, I feel like I got to go brush my teeth right now. But uh, I mean, I have to ask, I mean, you know, because come on. What is that saying that a lot of people like to say, you know, that for evil men to triumph, all it takes is a good man to do nothing? Well, I think the the same thing happens when we don't talk about important issues because we're so fed up with politics. And you know what? These politicians, I believe wholeheartedly that they're counting on the fact that we're so sick of it. In fact, they're counting on it that, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll turn it off. We don't want to hear it. And that's how they get away with, you know, we sometimes you find out that all these stupid laws were passed. All these legislations, all these deals that are going to cost you, the taxpayer, you and me, you know. How did that tax get approved? Oh, well, you know, they, they know that we don't like to talk politics. So they just gave us, fed us a bunch of baloney then. They cried, you know, and this is all hypothetical, but you know that a lot of the time, this is how it happens. They wave the left hand so that you don't see what the right hand is doing, and they get their stuff approved. They get taxes that you probably didn't want passed because you didn't want to talk politics. All right, so, okay, I got that out of the system. Now, yeah, looking forward to Birds of Prey. That's going to be an interesting movie. Oh, man. You know what? Uh, uh, It's uh, a couple minutes before I finish the show, you know, because today is a short one, just a 15 minute one. But uh, I I, got to go brush my teeth or something. I'm going to I just hope you all have an awesome weekend, you know, or whatever it is or whenever it is that you're listening to this. Oh, most importantly that I wanted to talk about, you know. Especially here, if you're listening here in the Valley, of Ar- in the Valley, you know, Phoenix, Arizona area, um, we're getting close to Thanksgiving, Christmas, and all those seasons where, you know, there are families that are going hungry. And no, uh, I'm gonna. St. Mary's Food Bank is not sponsoring me in any way. This is something that. I usually do, you know, on a regular basis from my paycheck, I, you know, contribute money to the food banks because there was a time when I found myself being a recipient of that benefit because even though I had a job, I did not make enough to pay my bills and put food on my table. So uh, me and my family used to go down there and man, it was embarrassing and we, I was like, man, someday I want to be in a position where I can, you know, be of benefit. So, because, I mean, <clears throat> uh, among I used to see a lot of people go there, you know, driving Escalades, waiting in the lobby there and they're out with their iPhones, you know. And you knew that they were there 
taking somebody